One, but some folks need help more than others. Homeless shelters are seeing an increase in the number of people needing a place to stay. As WYMT's Ashley Reynolds shows us, while workers say they will not turn anyone away, funds are getting dangerously low. <laughs> Dozens of families have shelter from the winter storm in the Cumberland Valley thanks to homeless shelters. Susan Connell is raising her two grandchildren, Dalton and Jason. Dalton is disabled. Connell says she was keeping the boys warm with the stove at home, then pipes started to burst. If it wasn't here, I don't even know where we would be. Connell took the boys here to the Women's Emergency Support Center in Knox County. Workers say while they are happy to help, Funds are extremely low. We're very concerned about being able to stay functional this year. The shelter recently lost thousands of dollars in federal funding. Anything that you would need for a typical household, we need. Shelter workers say they're really low on food donations. In fact, sometimes they don't even have enough milk to give to children. If it's closed, it's on telling. You know, it could be be the difference between somebody living or dying really that's the truth. During the cold weather it, it is, you know there's a lot of people been coming in here and uh, you know I guess there's nowhere to go. At the Safe Haven homeless shelter in Pineville Gary Sprinkles is thankful to have a roof over his head. It's nice to have a good warm bed and you know some on your belly mm -hmm. makes a difference. Shelter workers just hope they will get donations so they can help the large amount of people that are in need. Ashley Reynolds, WYMT 57 Mountain News.